Praise God, praise God. Pastor Teddy Marshall of Word Fellowship Ministries here. And I'm going to jump right in here with a story for you. Um, I have the word, okay, so we are going to do that. But I just wanted to share this moment with you that I had, um, you know, with the Lord. And it was, did you see that bird just fly by my head? Anyway, I'm in the park, okay. So the um, I was getting dressed and I noticed a picture on my dresser. And it's a picture of me with, the last time we were all together, like for a family gathering, uh, around uh, the holiday time and it's I'm standing with both my you know with my sons my grandson my uh, granddaughter and my other granddaughters they weren't available uh, weren't able to make it out but it was just a picture of us and um, I'm looking forward to when I can get all of us in but anywho <laughs> so when I was looking at the picture I was just so caught up with the fact that um, we were all together and it was it was just like wow look at that through different life challenges and celebrations and promotions and advancement we've you know been um, not scattered because we're still together praise God but um, from coast to coast okay but this this particular time we were all together so as I looked at that picture I just thought about it's it like God heard me when I prayed and it went from heard me to like the Holy Ghost saying, hear you. I hear you every time you pray. My prayers were for my family. I'm um, at that particular gathering. Um, there's another picture that was all of us in there, cousins and uncle and, and uh, all of us, we were in there. And it was exciting. And it just made me have a moment where I was just reflecting on how we live in different states. We, it was, you know, we're at different stages of life and all of the challenges, but we were always there praying for each other and being there for each other. And we were able at this particular time to come together. And I'm looking forward to another opportunity where even more of us will be able to come together. And I, I just thought about how the enemy works, can work so hard at times to get us to, uh, uh, get into loneliness get into sorrowful state of mind where we're we're feeling rejected or maybe lonely or cast off rejected or anything like that but when we pray we have to know that God hears us each and every time that we pray for us to come together like that God heard me because it's like Lord keep us together and although it had been some time since we were all together like that, it was like not a second had passed between us. Not a mile, not a step was of distance between us. See, that's how God operates. He hears us and he perfects that thing. So going even beyond what we have asked for, I asked that our family will stay, you know, always be close and stay together. And he said, let me show you how it's done. Let me show how I do this. Praise God, praise God. All right, I'm going to read um, Psalm chapter 66, verses 19 and 20. But certainly God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who has not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Father, thank you. Thank you for keeping our family together. Thank you for keeping families together. Thank you, Lord God, for keeping the body, drawing the body of Christ together. Thank you for drawing us into a position where we would accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior so we could, could become the body of Christ, so that we could become your children and come into the family of God. Father, we thank you so much for your word that tells us what to expect, what we have, who you are, and how we can access not just the things, but how we can access you, and that is through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Father, we thank you so much for every time that we were able, we are able to celebrate, and we know you're right there with, with us celebrating. Lord God, we thank you in the times of mishap and trials and, and, and uh, trepidation comes to mind, and we understand and we know that you are there with us right then too. God, thank you. And as I, I continue getting dressed this morning, and it was just this joy, this, this celebration, this praise rose, rose up in me. And I just started thinking, you know, the scripture says about rocks crying out for God. And you all know, if you've seen, you know, um, my videos, you know, and you know me, I really appreciate nature. 
creations of God and how you can look at them and see how they worship God when the, the branches and the leaves turn up and the wind is blowing and it's the there is it's just like they're they're praising God they're worshiping God the ocean and the waters and the the waves and they you know they're they're clapping and this all of this just whoo the creator he made all of this and it's a celebration of God and who he is as creator and his faithfulness, the seasons change, his faithfulness, all of these things that we could see. But what this is causing me to do was say, not a rock needs to cry out for me. Not a branch needs to wave its branches in uh, like, like arms for me. Cause I'm gonna praise you, Lord God. I thank you, Father, for my family. I thank you for how you have healed and are healing us. I thank you, Father, for how you have provided and provide for us. I thank you, God, for how you have protected and you protect us. God, thank you for everything you are, all that you are, what you do for us, but who you are to us and how we are able to be in that close relationship, that intimacy with you because of Jesus Christ, our, mm, our Lord and our Savior. Yes, my family is saved. Yes, my family is blessed. Yes, my family is protected. Yes, my family is advancing. Yes, my family. Oh God, I thank you. And I thank you not just for my family, the uh, the, the blood, you know, the, the human blood family, but I thank you for the body of Christ. I thank you for the divine blood that was shed for us that we could come together as family, supporting each other and being there for each other. Thank you, Father God. I thank you for the correction, Father, that you give when we do step off for a minute, when we do have a moment. I thank you for that correction. I thank you for the checks. Okay, here's one more story for you, and this just happened, okay, <laughs> this morning as well. Uh, coming out of church service was praise and worship was awesome and the word was powerful and prayer and all of this was going on and I'm feeling all like on the divine some type of way okay and I'm walking to the parking you know across the parking lot get to my car now anybody who knows me know that I will park way away I don't want anybody parking like really close to me I don't want any dings or dents in my door I don't any of that right okay so there's a parking space and it's just like no other car over there right so well not that many so a lot of space around me so I parked the car okay fine now here I come out of church feeling old divinely okay and just praising God in my heart the joy and there's this truck that is parked so close to me <laughs> I can't even get in my door and I'm like oh man here we go but then I noticed that the uh, lights showing that they were the driver was gonna go in reverse and pull out so I you know put my, my stuff down on the trunk of my car and I'm just kind of standing there and for a split second it was just like I can't believe it. I can't even get in my car but then it was like <laughs> the Lord saying what kind of representation would it be if you started uh, uh, acting all ignorant okay <laughs> so, but it was for a split second that the enemy was trying to get me to do that and be angry and be frustrated and the Holy Spirit said don't go there uh-uh no, 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 don't go there. The, the driver got out of the car. She's apologizing and she's, you know, like, yeah, and giving, you know, her explanation and stuff and she didn't mean it. And I was like, it's all good. Yes, but I know, I know you should can't. I said, it's all good. We're good. And I just, I started, you know, smiling and laughing and she started smiling and laughing while she tried to navigate this big truck and she said it was her husband's. So I guess she wasn't used to driving it and we laughed it off. I thank God that he has changed my heart. Y'all know me, <laughs> the old me. My son says that he knows God's real by seeing how God has changed me. I give God all the glory and all the honor. And I praise him that it's a, it's a situation where my family can see the change in me and that encourages them. My family can see the work that God has done in my life and in my heart and that helps them to understand he's real, he's real. So I know this was a lot, and I know it may have been kind of all over the place, but basically, simply said, I praise God, and I thank Him, and I bless Him with all that is within me. And I ask you, I invite you to join me in this. Lord God, thank you. And I thank you, Father, that you have not only blessed me, but you have blessed your entire family, the body of Christ. And we celebrate you. In Jesus' name, amen.